Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a local folder as a source in your eCatalog panel. To get started, go to the eCatalog panel, and you want to show the collections view. So if you can't see it, use this expander control here to either collapse or expand the collections view. Now the most easiest way to add a local folder is to use an existing source that's listed here. For example, I could use my public model source or my my model source, and these two are linked to folders in your documents library. So I use the My Model Source first. I'll right click and then click Open in Explorer. So I can now see the folder in my directory. And let's go and make a new folder there and call it Example. So far, so good, right? So let's actually exit out of this. And notice that our local folder is not listed here as a source. That's because it doesn't have any items in it. So what we can do, let's go back to our My Models folder. I'll take these three items I have here and put them into my Example folder. And we can see an automatic update in the eCatalog panel. So now that example folder is listed as a source, and here are its items. So now exit out of this. And in some cases, you don't want to use an existing source. You just want to add a local folder as a new source. To do that, in your collections view, click this plus sign here called Edit Sources and Add Collections. Then click Edit Sources. And in the Sources window, we want to add a new source. So click this button here. And in this case, our source is going to be a local folder. So click this button here. You can either make a new folder or select it. So let's actually go to our desktop. And I have a folder already set up called Tutorials. So I'll select it here, but you could make a new one if you want. I'll click OK. That new source is listed here. And when I click Close, that source will now be listed in our Collections view. So there it is. There's a the Tutorials. So if I select it, here are the items in that source. Let's do that again. So I'll click Edit Sources. Go ahead and add a new source. And now let's make a new folder. I'll just use our desktop. Call this Example 2. Click OK. Close it out. And notice the source is listed here, but if I select it, it doesn't have any items. So that's the difference between using an existing source and just adding a whole new source. So if the source does not have any items in it, it won't be listed. But if you just add it straight as a new source, then it will still be listed here, even though there are no items. Now, when adding new sources to your eCatalog panel, in some cases, you may not want to have them listed here in the Collections view. So what I can do is I can go back to my Edit Sources window. And I have these two sources here called Tutorials and Example 2. So what I can do is I can clear their visible checkbox. But notice I did not turn them off, so I can still use the files there. So if I close this out, those sources are no longer visible in the Collections view but I can still find those components that I have there. So let's actually do a search of physics. And if I go to my filters here and turn off components, and let's actually preview this item here, you can see that its file path is in that tutorials folder. So that tutorials source, that local folder, is not listed here in the collections view, but I still have access to those items because I'm working in this all models source here, this all models smart collection. All right, this concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.